In Gundungara language, Bimbi Gang. Bimbi Gang is greetings. It's an honour to be here today with you all to welcome you to our home, our clan country, as well as our nation, the Gundungara Nation. A welcome is about you coming on to country with the strength and peace and blessing of the traditional custodians and a, a lot of us stand here today. As a Gundungra elder, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you here today. Warragamba area is a very important place for our people. For us, um, we, we burn for lots of reasons, but today it is around the ecology, but it's also about the traditional people from the country. To be with Victor and all of you to have a better understanding or a different way of um, burning. So it's pretty special for us. So if we all go on the same journey together, make it easier hopefully for other Aboriginal people across the country who live in areas like us to actually be part of looking after their country. That's a new beginning. As we continue to evolve as humanity on this globe, is that people are part of the landscape. And people come from country. And that's why the land and people were able to be sustainable for 40,000 years or more. Incredible. But once we start doing this work, you'll start to see many places start to become more resilient and more manageable through wildfire times. And more importantly, prepared. Not only will we bring the identity back for country, but also bring your identity back for people. And together, you'll see improvements socially and environmentally. And this is just the seed. People will realise the way we burn country, it's not like a hazard reduction burn. We need to have um, the opportunity to, to be able to manage country the way our ancestors did. The fire that we do is it's good for country and, and it's a safe fire. In our history in this country, we uh, did some damage to our connections, hey? And it, it takes a bit of time to get all those connections to come back together. So on Gundungara country, the clap sticks are used to welcome. When we like grass, we get white smoke. Therefore, you see how lovely it burns? So one fire, we don't come in with drip torches. One fire, we leave it for 10 minutes first and let everything smell the smoke, everything start moving. Insects climb the trees. It's like singing out, you know, oh, we're gonna burn now. This way, the fire will just gently go through and all we wanna do is take that surface layer off and really gently get to the soil so we spark the right vegetation making our country less flammable, bringing back the food source, bringing back the identity and doing it in a way that's safe. You feel the peacefulness? And that peacefulness is important because that's what the country remembers. And getting people back on the land looked like that, see? Walking through and being gentle and learning the knowledge. Before we've done this burn through here, we had no idea there were so many um, of them here, a really good resource for um, Aboriginal people. It's in important that this burn's gone ahead because now we've opened it up and uh, we'll be able to see where our resources really are. And that's important. So we can come and tell the story to the younger ones. It's continuing towards the journey that we're on at Greater Sydney Local Land Services is to try and help communities care for country one strong way to care for country is through fire and our fires managed in the right type of country. Our view is that through restoring health, we also will hopefully restore health to communities and enhance culture as well, because all those things are interconnected. What I saw here today is, is peaceful. It's laid back and, and it's um, been under control the entire time. And what I'd really like to see is the opportunity for more of our staff, not just in this area, but all over the state 
to take part in these, we can begin being a voice within our organisation to sort of say we've taken part in this and we found it really worthwhile. I started to feel honoured that we'd been given this opportunity, that I happen to be here today and throughout the day I've felt as if I've met some people, participated in an activity that has really um, changed my outlook on what, what we can achieve if we just, you know, work together. So I think between all the government agencies, we can come up with a better plan of how to manage this bushland into the future. This project, I feel, is showing that we are achieving that with um, Sydney Water. Well, I love this country and I, I don't have the roots that Aunty Sharon does, but when I walk the country with Aunty Sharon and some of the Gundungurra members from the local community, the love of the landscape and the, the willingness to heal the landscape was very um, much what has given me a lot of drive and passion for this area. I think there's a lot we can learn about. There's thousands of years of knowledge from Indigenous land management. This is really a pilot project for us. Um, it's the, the first Sydney water site where we would have undertaken Indigenous fire management. Uh, it's helping us rethink how we can best manage our land and um, how we can improve things. We'll get the community in. Our aim is to assist communities to build that capacity of knowledge and to help them rebuild their knowledge of landscapes. Reviving Aboriginal culture also is just as important as reviving the landscapes because it's people are a part of the landscape. We all need to be on board together. And what really needs to happen is we need to sit around the round table and we need to work on a plan to look after this nation a lot better all together. But the other end of this story is we have a better outcome for Aboriginal history and for people to understand that Aboriginal people haven't gone away. We're always going to be managing our country and our waterways in a respectful and manageable way with everyone. Anyway, let's see where we go.